In tonight's Military Matters, a new bridge on Fort Hood aims to keep people safe, especially as we begin the spring season of storms and potential flash flooding. That's right. It spans 450 feet over a portion of the Cowhouse Creek. Channel 6 military reporter Jillian Angeline was on post earlier today. Jillian, just why is this so important? Leslie and Chris, Fort Hood's director of public works tells me the nearly $10 million bridge on the old, Orgetown, old Georgetown Road will save lives. Familiar oh. situation, low water crossings on Fort Hood becoming dangerous rapids in stormy weather. For the old Georgetown Road Bridge, what some know as Jackson's Crossing, it will now be a safer drive. Over the years, we put our folks in great danger trying to cross here because, as I described, it was specifically designed uh, to allow water to cross during a storm event for water to come over top of the road. And it was really... The driver had to make a decision whether he was going to cross or not cross. Fort Hood's Director of Public Works, Brian Dosa, says they had tanks and Bradley military vehicles actually wash away at that exact location. This stream may look docile right now, only about a foot to a foot and a half deep, but in a matter of minutes, it could get much worse. According to Fort Hood officials, 12 to 15 feet deep. In a matter of minutes, it can become treacherous and life-threatening. This bridge goes a long way in reducing risk associated with major hydrology hazards and brings us peace of mind. The new bridge, a $9.7 million endeavor, allows all weather 24-7 access for the Army and for the public driving through that portion to or from North Fort Hood. This bridge is designed to be able to pass a, what's called a 25-year flood. But even with the improvement, there are still numerous low water crossings on Fort Hood and the motto, turn around, don't drown, remains. Now, Fort Hood officials say they targeted the next bridge project for Turkey Run Road across Clear Creek, saying they consider that to be the most dangerous next. You may remember that's the low water crossing where Specialist Darius Cooper from Fort Hood died last April while driving in flood waters. It'll be almost a year in just a few weeks. Wow. Leslie, Chris. Yeah, very important project indeed. Well, don't go anywhere. We'll right back with a look at sports after the break. Stay with us.